Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. Today we had another stream and so I will be going over the reveals. First we had a bunch of sleeves for the new booster which we will be getting I think in February, maybe March, I think February. So that's a long way to go. However, here's the thing we're actually into. The new cards for Gear Chronicle. Now as you know, Gear Chronicle is getting great force which they can call with the new grade 3 that used to be on the front of the booster but now isn't anymore so they changed the main unit that's on the booster for gear chronicle it's no longer the guy that gets you a grade four now it's a different unit entirely and so the first grade four we see now is interdimensional dragon idealized dragon it says when placed on v activate all of the effects below according to the sum of the grades of the phase up cards in your bind zone so as i said before this deck is gonna bind a lot and then this card basically gets stronger and stronger the more cards are bound now what i thought initially would happen is just that you call everything that's bound like a big onslaught but instead they're actually just gonna reward you for the amount of bound cards so if you have one or more bound card when it's placed your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards and puts it on the bottom of the deck so that's just a minus one five or more is called the top card of your deck to r so that's a plus one for you and an 11 or more is called two cards from your drop zone to r and three of your rear guards get power plus 5k so if 11 or more are, are bound you get all three effects so your opponent goes minus one you go plus one and then you go plus two and then you give the plus 5k so that's really solid now of course 11 is a huge number so i don't know how consistently they will be able to do all of that we'll see how that plays out as they get more support and we see some more cards then we have steam hunter lipid which says when placed on r from hand cost bind a card from your drop zone and this unit gets power plus 3k so that's just a plus one to your bind zone essentially which then helps you with the grade four but it's only a common um, so it's likely that it won't make the deck then we have wedge move dragon this little cutie right here it says so when its attack hits cost bind a card from your hand and draw a card which is filtering and when this card would be discarded it may be discarded as a grade three would that also count for stride i mean obviously it's gonna have some other kind of synergy with standard of course but like does it work for striding they must have answered that in the stream but i honestly have no clue now finally and this card i really love it's a g guard bear lock it says in your g zone generation break one you may call this card from face down with bind one or more rear guards with the sum of their grades being three or more so instead of discarding a heal, you can now G-guard by binding cards from your field. So a grade 3 or something like that, which is honestly really interesting to me. Like, I want to see where they go with this. And I think every clan should start getting these cards. Now, that's pretty odd because Great Nature got this horrible, fucking awful piece of shit called Symbol Monkey. And then Gears gets something super cool like this, like... What's up with that? Now, uh, it also says when placed, this unit gets shield plus 5k for each card bound for the cost of calling it. So the more cards you basically got rid of, meaning you minus yourself, the more shield it has. So if you only get rid of a grade 3, that's only plus 5k. Regardless, it's still like free fucking G guarding. That's really good. Of course, this only at GB1. So you... You can't do that when you're on grade 3 regardless. It's a really nice card to have. It's really interesting. And finally, and I guess this is pretty interesting to a lot of you, they showed us the art for the Bermuda Triangle Trial Deck, which is coming out on Valentine's Day in Japan. Now, I don't know if Japan has the same Valentine's Day date. I think they do. Regardless, it's coming out on Valentine's Day. Uh, but for us, that means it'll be like an extra month or some, even more probably. Chocolade Melody. That's actually Dutch. What the fuck? But then written in a really odd way. And it's not a card that we actually know as far as I'm aware. Which means it's not supporting any of the old archetypes. Which is something we were assuming already. Regardless, this is kind of confirming it at least for the main boss of the trial deck. So that's basically all for today. Hope you find this interesting. If you did, please subscribe to the Solemn Vanguard channel. And click the bell button to stay up to date. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And I will see you soon. Ciao.